All right, so today we're going to do a quick video. Uh, what I'm working on is building a platform to put my rain barrel on uh, as soon as I get the kit to finish that out, the spout and uh, downflow diverter and all that. So as soon as we get that in, we'll get this rain barrel finished, get it set up. I plan to attempt to use it to power a drip irrigation system for the front mulch bed area there. We'll see if that's going to be enough power. But first, we're going to build the stand for it. So what we're going to be doing is building the legs out of four by fours, then using some two by fours for the uh, supporter on the top, and then using some leftover Trex decking for the the top decking that the rain barrel will sit on. So let's get at it. So as you can see, we've got the frame built out here. We're just going to lay some decking across here. Going to go get the, some of the leftover Trex decking that I had from redoing my deck. And we're going to deck it and then we should be done with it. All right, so we built the stand for the rain barrel. And today I finally got all the stuff I need to complete this kit. We're going to put the faucet in. Uh, put a drain in for winterizing it in the winter and attach it to a downspout. The kit that I got for this is the uh, Earth Minded kit that I just ordered on Amazon. Uh, accidentally ordered the wrong kit to begin with. There is a difference between the size of your downspout, so make sure you measure it. The universal one covers uh, two inch by three inch and three inch by four inch. The kit I had first ordered only had the diverter for the three inch by four inch downspout, which is not mine. So I had to order a different diverter kit. Uh, finally got all that in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Right, just to go over it again real quick, the legs were done with four by fours, uh, four of them cut to two feet. And then the edge here was done with two by fours, four two by fours cut to two feet, attached to the four by fours and then the Trex decking that I had left over from my deck just for the support to set this barrel on. All right, first, I want to go ahead and do the, get the spigot set up. And open up this kit, get everything kind of laid out. The kit comes with everything you need, including the hole saws that you'll need. So that'll be, make things a little bit easier. And it comes with a couple different threaded rubber inserts that you can use once you drill the hole, stick the insert in, and then you thread in your faucet and your drain. And we'll get at this now. All right, so it wants us to measure up three inches from the bottom and mark the center for the drill. And we're gonna drill it right about there. That comes with a one, what is this one and a quarter, one and a quarter inch hole saw that we're going to use to put this hole in.
disinfectant. And I still have a little bit of soapy water in this. So, okay, let's get a hose over here and add some water, get this all rinsed out. All right, so all we did here was you drilled the hole. Uh, because this was a 55 gallon drum that I got from a car wash, uh, it still had a little bit of soap in the bottom. I had to rinse it several times just to get all that out. But after you drill that, that hole with the included hole saw, there has a rubber grommet that you fit in and a little bit of soap on it helps it slide into place. And then you screw the spigot into the rubber fitting here. And that's gonna be this installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the, install the diverter kit. Uh, we're gonna get the water inlet hole. It, it says to measure it three inches down from the top of the barrel. So we're gonna do that, drill our hole for the inlet. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the diverter installed in here. All right, so using the included inch and a half hole saw, I just drilled a hole at the top, three inches down from the, I use the bottom edge of the slip. And this is gonna be the insert that we're gonna stick the hose into that's going to come from the downspout. All right, so once we had the inlet hole drilled here in the barrel, using the included hole saw, Drill the hole here, attach this diverter in. Uh, use two screws, self-tapping screws to hold it in. All this comes with the kit. To winterize it, you will take these two screws out, pull this out, and they get a little plug that'll go over here to close up your downspout for the winter and you just drain your barrel and you're good. Hose just slides into the fitting here and here and as it rains it should go and fill up the barrel so that is how we got this rain barrel set up all right so that is the rain barrel uh glad i finally got that set up hopefully the next couple of days we're supposed to get a fair amount of rain so hopefully we can see this thing start to fill up uh, i'm going to set up a drip irrigation system to water this front mulch bed and the flower pots see if we can get enough water in here to give that a test and hopefully have enough pressure from this to power that given that it's a drip irrigation system it shouldn't be an issue but that's the uh, end game plan here so stay tuned we'll do a video on that as well thank you